great. So um, I great pleasure to introduce Neil Ferris to anyone who doesn't know Neil. Neil is a very splendid Hello. chap. Um, and um, uh, we've we've known each other for some some considerable time, really. And I, I was delighted, particularly because Neil was the very first associate music director of the Brandenburg Choral Festival. Uh, that's a title I made up so I can uh, beg people for help when we need tricky things doing. And I, the, Neil, do you remember uh, our first, um, so, uh, I think our first tricky project, because it was... Um, Brahms? Was it Brahms? Brahms, yes. And it was your reorchestration, which <laughs> yeah. worked very well, I have to say. It wasn't and bad. I that. And it was with the Whitehall Choir. Yes. Uh, I was covering for Paul Spicer, who was my teacher at the Royal College of Music. Um, I, I, uh, do I remember that right? Yes, I do. I'm trying to remember the name of the organist. It was Martin Ford. Martin Ford, because that was that was a hell of a job, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, uh, but I loved it, uh, and and the the real was, was great. It worked yeah. very well. So yeah. enjoyed it very much. But yeah, uh, that, with that piece, it's a lot to get through in a in a short rehearsal. <laughs> it certainly is. So uh, that that was, and then from there, you know, our paths have crossed numerous times. It's al always been a great pleasure. But I haven't seen you much recently, so tell, tell us what you've been doing in lockdown and what, what, the, what the current situation is. You, you've got, uh, I, I lose track with conductors and choirs, I meant to have a big chart. Have you got, am I right in thinking you've got three choirs? I have three. Yes. You're a festival, the Three Choirs Festival? Yes, all, all in myself and all doing nothing <laughs> at the moment, of course. Uh, 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 apart from an online festival, constant online festival, yeah. Um, I like I, I like the idea of the wine bar though, and I I like your background. Um, <laughs> it's very atmospheric, and I, I like I can see that uh, Neil Dennis has, has done us proud, and also Matt as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, I, I like the idea of that. But yes, uh, lockdown, um, various stages of uh, panic, uh, feeling grossly inadequate uh, at technological skill, um, trying to think about because each choir is different has a different psyche well one is a professional choir anyway uh, so that's more about thinking of what we could do to give our thing of work but but the the, the other two choirs be the Pimpe chorus and Wimbledon chorus of Darcy um slightly different sort of ways of working um and so thinking about what is right for each individual choir even though they're both symphonic sized choruses um and trying to like you are here it's, it's about the it's a community some kind of social contact that we're not allowed to do in real life at the moment and a shared love of music and a shared love of choral music and once we've got over the the, the, the morning of the loss of live music making uh, you can make a positive situation out of um, just the appreciation and, and love of choral music and, and um, doing bits and bobs online, but more like a music appreciation this evening, a shared with uh, on the screen. It, it's kind of the way we've gone. And yes, we've done some uh, virtual choir projects and, and things like that uh, as well, uh, but those, those uh, I, I've called the, those concert replacement therapy. Uh, in other words, you, you get some some kind of um, uh, pride in in what you do, uh, and you've made a contribution to something, and it is a state event. Um, but in terms of the 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 output or the amount of input, uh, it's not um, rewarding. But if uh, you you uh, it sounds like you're heading to do one and that uh, you will take pride and you'll really enjoy that moment when it's all put together and released mm. um, and if it's Matt who is putting it all together uh, he, he will be in a bunker for a few <laughs> uh, few days whilst he, um, he, he makes all of it work but um, yeah it, it, it's not a long term solution definitely but um, we're, we're finding ways around it all just as everybody is remarkable creativity around even though it's not in the direction that we normally act. Hmm. Great. So, um, 
any particular plans of things uh, that you're trying to get going coming up? Um, well, little bits of um, trying to get to, together with uh, Wimbledon. Uh, we're lucky we've got a venue that will be um, will be able to be safe in uh, as long as we do all the ins and outs uh, right and we keep our distance and things like that. So hopefully in October we'll at least in small groups be starting to rehearse. And the church where we rehearse has a Zoom set up already, so those who aren't at that particular rehearsal be able to beam in live to it and, and at least watch it. Um, so I'm hoping that might work um, uh, from about next month. Uh, but the BBC was governed by um, the workplace and uh, we got a um, email yesterday from our managing director, which is quite understandable um, why they're risk averse, but only essential broadcast staff are allowed into the, any BBC building. Um, and at the moment, we're not staffed with essential broadcast. Um, so we can't actually get back into Maida Vale, um, even though I had a lovely few days with the BBC singers playing them for last night of the proms, which some of you might have, have seen. Um, so it, it was great to get back into a bit of life and just make it. And then uh, with Sonora, we've got a, a, an online project starting uh, next week. We, we were speaking about Brahms Requiem for at the beginning, um, but starting next month, uh, it's about to be launched, so you're getting a sneak preview uh, or a, a sneak preview announcement. Anyway, everybody here, um, we're, we're doing an online, uh, yes, appreciation course, I suppose, of Brahms Requiem. Uh, five Sundays in a row, uh, I've got uh, guest singers coming in, uh, guest uh, bo uh, language coach, amazing language coach coming in, and we'll work our way through the amazing piece that is Brahms Requiem. So look out for that on our Sonoro website. It's not there yet because we've just agreed that we're going to do it, uh, but it will be up very soon. And have a look out for that uh, over October and November. Oh, well. so those, those are the immediate plans. And hopefully recording as well. A composer, a lovely composer called Russell Heppelwhite has uh, just got in touch and we'll hopefully find a, a place where we can be distanced and uh, make a recording. Mm, mm, okay. Well, uh, so never say die is, is the never, say die. never ever say die. Okay, but you, you see, I'm I, I'm here and I, I I'm 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 sitting down and uh, I'm I'm sounding as if these things are entirely natural and a progression and they've been thought through for months and months and yeah, it's just like that. But uh, believe me, the the the, the uh, my nails are much shorter. Uh, the anxiety levels have been sort of fluctuating and bobbing um, more times than the Atlantic Ocean and um, it's uh, like anybody with their line of work in, 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 this, um, in this period it, it's, it, it's the same it's, it's getting over the shock of, of the change and, um, and constantly feeling inadequate as well because it, this is not what I'm particularly used to doing um, and, uh, and I'm not a Oh my goodness! I have to tell you about a hilarious zoo. Neil Dennis and and and, and, Ethan and, and I, I've seen love, some lovely Wimbledon friends here uh, witnessed this the other day, but, but I didn't tell them the complete story. Our first Wimbledon Zoom back from uh, the summer, I, I felt so. I was really up for it. I was looking forward to seeing everybody. Felt so up for it, and uh, we're we're looking at Messiah. Would you believe that Wimbledon haven't done the site for a very, very long time? Um, so, uh, and I'd set up all these resources and I got my YouTube clips ready and uh, I got my Spotify clips ready. And, uh, you know, I, I, before the summer, I got used to my, you know, share uh, screen options and share um, optimized video for sound and all of this kind of thing. Um, and on one of them, I've got to share the sound, so they were hearing sort of, sort of pixelated sound version of a of, of video I was sharing. And uh, what I didn't realize was that the Spotify, uh, through Zoom, you have to set it up independently. I had it ready and I was playing it on my computer. But the Spotify account I have on my computer is actually my wife's account. And in another room where she was on a Zoom meeting, 
uh, I was playing the Spotify randomly into the music. So it was worth it. That worked really well. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I wonder if there's a way of measuring the, the, the improvement in the IT skills of the entire nation yeah. over the past couple of months, because it, it's, it's sink or swim, isn't it? Yes. It really is. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm floundering, but just about doing a doggy paddle to keep me afloat, I think. Uh, but uh, there we are. So um, we, we work in a, a four-week pattern. So we have a four week, which we call a step. So step one was um, Ave Verum, safe, good, good safe territory to start with. Okay. And uh, then- That's a great we... piece of doing on Zoom though, because the marking is sotto voce. <laughs> Very good. So that was okay. Then we, have a, we always, then we have a week off between each step. So Matt can go and lie down in a darkened room and bathe his temples yeah. with eau de cologne. <laughs> Uh, then we did the Arnest Day from Forey Rec. Oh wow! Which, which worked, which uh, worked really well. And uh, I mean, the if I can if I can share uh, 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 the, the the my sort of passion about this, there are lots of disadvantages, major disadvantages of trying to make music online. We know about that, and we we've had to grit our teeth and bear with it but there are also some extra advantages. So in the Arnus day, you know the middle section where almost every amateur choir always goes flat. You're not yeah. commenting. <laughs> no, I know exactly. Um, uh, Cum Santi Tuis, where, yes. where it's in four flat. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Uh, yeah, and because it's all, it's all going down by semitone, it just drifts and drifts and drifts. Um, yeah. I see. Well, we we so we we developed this fantastic uh, method. The the learning track that we provide for people has it is a MIDI created choir with the each voice part is pushed so that it's nice. It feels like you're you're in a section, and then we also have a piano playing the key notes as a ping. Yeah. So in that section, uh, yeah. the sopranos hear the first note of each bar. Great. And it's stuck. So even if it starts to drift, they've got to refocus each bar. And because they're only recording audio, they can hear it on their headphones, but it doesn't come out on what they're recording. So it's a complete cheat. Brilliant. Love it. But uh, it, it, it's... Yeah, that, that section is really hard because the other thing, apart from it being in a flat key and uh, all, it, it's gorgeous and lush and, and and then it, there's a sequence that you know, goes down as well. But um, it's, it's the vowels. The vowels are really tricky because they change. Yes, they change constantly, but they often change between sort of vowels that are far away from each other. So you've, you've got cum sanctis tuis. Well, that's not too bad. But then you've got in eternum. And once you've done neutral vowels, in eternum, the, the voice drops and then the oo valve get right forward into the oo valve uh, right at the end before you breathe. Then you've got all it, it's like a perfect storm that 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 section for for, for tuning. So I I like your solution. If, if we did it live, I don't think we could get away with that. Maybe. No, no, but uh, it's so uh, it's taking advantage of the pl the, the the few pluses there are, which almost outweigh the minuses. I just had an absolute flashback listening to you talking about the vowels in Cum Sanctis too, because I can, I can hear Matt's voice ringing in my ear. Um, <laughs> Matt gives us lots of coaching on the vowels, says Liz. Yeah, um, yeah this is, I mean, this, this is one of the joys of this project that Matt and I have been working on it together. And we, we, we both come to the piece from different angles, but we always end up seeming to, to want to get the same result. But his expertise is exactly the what you've just been describing. So that's that's Matt. Thumbs up, Matt. What a superstar. Great. Yeah, so so currently we're working on Locus Iste. Ah. And so the whole point of the conversation with the conductor is so it, it, it's nice to catch up and, and all that stuff. But it's actually so I can say, Ian Neil, give us a tip. What's gonna go wrong and how can I fix it? <laughs> what's um, what what but, or, but or, know, or what's know, what's what's the worst what's the worst performance you've ever heard you know that sort of thing 
no, do what Matt has been saying to do, and and I and I know what he has been saying to do, uh, even though I haven't witnessed any of it. Um, it uh, you've got a few really tricky things. I mean, I I love the the piece for its simplicity, and uh, you could tell that the Lopez say that the Bruckner was writing for was a blooming big church because of all the all the rest after the noisy bit. Um, and uh, yeah, well, it's uh, a lot of the secret is the um, is getting the first two bars right because uh, you've got the pedal C in the bass. Yep. So you the bass is repeating the C, but again changing the vowel. Uh, sopranos are on a. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm got the score in front of me. Loco siste. Sopranos are descending. Yep. Again. Um, so you've got, you're starting on an O, which can easily be dull anyway. La, la. So you're, you're going to need lots of R space to start with local state. You can often close that too much. Um, and because the second syllable, okay, this is why the, you, you, you'll now understand why the first two bars are so important. The second syllable is an U vowel, but it's on a weak stress. Okay, it's on a weak syllable. Mm -hmm. So the inclination to sing into the U vowel is not quite there after you've done the O. Uh, then you've got an E vowel where the tongue really needs to roll forward. So it, it, the danger it goes, lo, ko, su, se. And so it's being aware of the tongue position inside the mouth as well. Um, and the starting dynamic is piano, so it's making sure that there's enough breath moving at the beginning as well. Um, yeah, and that's just the first two bars. <laughs> yeah, well, um, it's, this is this is so great to hear. Um, uh, I think must... that Matt, Matt will hopefully back me up here. Is that as Come in, as, Matt. The, the, the imperative is to get the breath moving. I mean, yes, we can talk about the, the, the vowels and, and, and and, and, and things like that, and yes, uh, but we can get, uh, that, that's of no use unless the breath is moving at, at the start, and um, that, that, that is the most important thing and can often solve a lot of the, the problem. Fantastic, yep, um, and then we, we, we've done the same in the, the middle section uh, where the, the little two bar overlapping phrase goes, in este yeah. overlapping, yeah. all going, and so we've got exactly the same thing, just to keep that really bang in tune. Yeah. Uh, and I'm hope you know, uh, the the rehearsals are interesting because they're not really rehearsals. It's a, it you have to you have to imagine you're in a rehearsal and imagine what's going to go wrong, and give the tenors a bollocking before they've gone wrong. Oh. Do you know what I mean? You, you've got to, no, not about, but you've got to steer them clear of the icebergs. Yeah. By imagining what's going to go wrong. Yeah. The the most important the, the the usual thing that I I do around there in the uh, to get across again that's pianissimo there, isn't it? it it's just been yeah. allowed. Yes. The tenors yes. Have to, to come and by themselves and, and but if you imagine that you are what is it irreprehensible is there so it's sort of irreproachable that mm. uh, um, you are irreproachable so you imagine uh, uh you're bending before the altar or it's a bit open day and dan brown around that moment <laughs> and then it, 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 you're going <laughs> sort of bending and, and bowing before mm. uh this this great uh being that may be stretched out in front of you and uh, then, uh, yeah, I, um, uh, that's the way, uh, that's, again, that's the way of getting the breath moving. And uh, rather than thinking, um, rather than thinking, oh, I have to be quiet and small. Um, it's just, it's, it's about getting the, the, the character and, and, and imagination going in that point. Anything to divert from the moments of panic. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I've sung that bit. I've been responsible for making that note with a few other tenors, and I think <laughs> uh, it, 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 you do whatever kind of choir in at that moment. You just go, oh, oh. 
<laughs> and the base is just stand and uh, look smug. Yes. <laughs> Have a fag break. <laughs> oh, but definitely. Oh my word. Can I have my husband back yet? No. <laughs> Look at that. What an angel. How about that? Oh, yes. Well, in that case, we must... Oh, look, we're nearly done. We've nearly done half an hour anyway. I might get a drink. So it just flashes by. This, this, is, this is really great, great to hear all your pearls of wisdom. Thank you. So if, if, I, if I can do a conductor interview every week, I can get everyone's best ideas and then put it all into to action. Yeah, that, that's all I've ever done for my whole career, so don't worry. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's just, it, uh, you, um, you, you absorb and one is, <laughs> and that's the, that's the joy of what we do, is that it's, it's a never-ending learning process. Um, or, organic growth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I put manure in my shoes every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the other benefit of this. I, 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 I really love doing the garden, oh. and we were blessed with good weather, so uh, that mm. kept, kept yes. me sane for for a couple of weeks at least. Um, but yeah, and mine, mine was dog walking more. Great. Is, yeah, that's also been the the joy. She's just his. In fact, she you might even catch her as she goes by. There she went. I don't know if you did. There we are. No, ignore that. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, well, that's, I think we're coming towards a nice end here. So just, yeah, it sounds like um, uh, the Beeb is inactive uh, yeah, at the well, moment. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll look to get active. I mean, um, some of you may have seen uh, the old line sign that w uh, went out at the end of the prom, um, just to sort of say, see you next year, and we might have one or two projects to do like that. But, mm -hmm. um, but we will be active online with lots of guests. Well, ha, for God's sake, like you've that. you've got the engine sound engineers, haven't you? <laughs> if the beam yes. can't do it, <laughs> I mean, they're, 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 the orchestras have been so imaginative and so superbly busy that that actually all the sound engineers have been completely and utterly occupied. Yes, their, their, their time has been filled. I mean, if, if you get a chance to. Uh, go on the BBC Symphony Orchestra Twitter or or, you, uh, or Facebook page. There's been some really really incredible things done by sections of the orchestra or um, individuals as part of the BBC Orchestra that have uh, produced some great content. So, um, uh, as you know, I, I would have a, a great affinity to the bassoon sections. Yeah. Um, there, there's a, there's a fantastic uh, video co compiled video. Uh, are of all the bassoons in all the the symphony all the bbc orchestras across the country and yep. uh, uh it's a, it's very very jolly and uh, uh the the bass first bassoon in the bbc welsh uh Jacek, he he uh, was playing first first bassoon and the the just before the end he hits a top c which is an octave above the right of spring Whoa! <laughs> so there, there's there's my little my little uh, nugget, if you like. There you go. So Neil, okay, we're going to wrap up now because I've got uh, this lovely glass of uh, wine to drink. Keep Excellent. doing my Keith Keith Floyd impersonation. Oh yes. Um, so if I if I mm. could uh, just encourage uh, a friend here on the screen to have a look at the uh, Sonoro website. No. Um, uh, there's lots of lovely YouTube things on there. Um, have a look. Um, sort of put it as a bookmark. Um, but hope, Bob, if you wouldn't mind, once we've got the details, that would be really grateful if you send around. We can see how we can disseminate. That's that. fine. I mean, I think I think the best way uh, it, you could put it in the chat now if you wanted to, but that's a bit technological for you, isn't it? So yeah, so why just send it to me and we'll make sure everyone think, gets it. I think it. Neil Dennis I'll... might help me out here. <laughs> I'm looking at him. Yeah, well, he's a good chap. <laughs> there, we there we are. So, uh, uh, it, in, ca in, uh, in case the chat disappears, if you want to grab that now, copy it and, and put it somewhere sensible, uh, I would suggest to uh, any of the pilgrims that if you do live in southwest London, uh, Wimbledon Choral Society are a fantastic group of people and a lovely choir to sing with. So, that might be something yeah. that's worth investigating. Yeah on there uh, they i i have to say they are a lovely choir uh, i absolutely they're, adore them they've probably uh, probably got a waiting list have you got a waiting list at the moment 
Nope. Oh, great, because it's huge, isn't it? It's it's huge, but actually, what's very interesting about that choir is that uh, a certain percentage, um, maybe up to amount, uh, about 20%, uh, fluctuates just because of where we are geographically. There's lots of people who come into the Wimbledon area and move out after three years or so. Um, mm. So uh, I actually think that that's advantage. It, it, it helps uh, keep the choir fresh. So we're always happy to see new people.